Wearing Brewers, Pink Booth Society, let's just get all seven with it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> so actually, Holly got me started on Pink Boots um, and started like three years ago. And uh, it was like, we had a Nashville chapter, but not really. And then we kind of started like a Raleigh chapter with, um, and it was like Anita who works at um, Lone Rider now and Jordan who works for Central State. Um, and Caroline who's at Lollamond. And so they kind of started it in Raleigh. I recently got really involved in Pink Boots and I, um, I honestly feel like that uh, group of women has kept me sane enough to continue in the beer industry and uh, you know one in particular Anita Riley as far as like asking her for advice and there's different situations has been immensely helpful so so um, I was like yeah sure fine nobody's gonna read it what do you want me to write and she was like well could you write about women in the beer industry I'm like nobody's gonna read that um, but I started doing research about it and found the Pink Boots Society just doing a Google search for women in the beer industry and I was actually a little bit upset that no one came to me like from the school and told me that there was this organization that provides scholarships for women in the brewing industry and I was like hello <laughs> so um, I you know I was like all right I'm gonna apply for this thing and I'm gonna get it you know I was like I got that Pink Boots is a big one it's actually huge um, they just offer so many opportunities for women to get to know each other and to learn. Their, their main mission in life is to inspire women and to, to teach them more knowledge about brewing. And so there's been a lot of opportunities with that, just getting to know um, other people. I mean, it was amazing. It was the first time I ever left the country. Um, and it was, I was actually a little hesitant, I mean, or a little, didn't know what to expect because I was on the strip for like two weeks with women. And I was like, oh God, I'm gonna have to spend like every single minute with all these women. And, um, they actually were amazing. I mean, they were all Pink Boot members. Um, and it was just, oh my God. And it, just like the tradition they had with the beer there was, I mean, we, and we met like the, you know, the last brewing nun in the world. Yeah, Sister Doris, who was amazing. I loved it. She, um, they had like a little piece of paper kind of over the beer that she, it was like a flip top. And um, you can only buy her beer from the monastery, like from her there. Um, and she said, you always have to drink it from the bottle because that's the only time you'll ever get to kiss a nun because her picture's on the thing. Um, but she was, yeah, she was amazing. It's been really informative for me not having those experiences, getting involved with organizations like Pink Boots where you have a lot of women from various sectors in the beer industry coming together and talking about their experiences. And, you know, even though my experience hasn't, ha has been overly positive, uh, it's been really good to hear the stories of other people and be able to say, okay, well, if that's happening to somebody else, you know, not only is it something to keep an eye on as you go and you are at other places, um, and support your, your fellow females in the industry, but to kind of look at it and say, okay, well, if that's happening, what can we do to fix it? Um, then that, that's been great. And I think one of the greatest things about Pink Boots is the education and the networking between women uh, that, I mean, that's why they started it. Like Terry Farendorf, she didn't even know that there were other women who worked in the beer industry. And uh, Laura Ulrich, who's the president of Pink Boots, is one of my really good friends from back in San Diego. And that is kind of the greatest part about it is being able to talk to other women and, you know, like, say you had an issue, I had an issue with this thing, and like, you know, the guys told me to do it this way, but that doesn't work for me, like, how do you guys deal with it? There's just different stuff that we run into as women that the guys just don't deal with. And not to say that you can't do it, you just have to figure out the right way for you to do it. It was really cool to get all these different perspectives and it was cool to give advice too. I, I, I am getting to that point in my career where like, I mean like, yeah, I do know what the hell I'm doing. I know what should be happening around here. And so to be able to actually help others, that's been really fun. And then to meet people who 
who know more than I do and ex can explain things to me. Um, that's been really exciting. So uh, me and Jordan did it and then Anita and Caroline did like Raleigh. And um, that's when we started the whole beer defense. You know, we need to really put North Carolina on the map. How about we host an all women's beer festival? And so we put both of these ideas together, launched the book at Beer to Femme, which was the, the fruit of that labor. And Caroline and Jordan and I just worked really hard to get that festival and that book off the ground. Um, and then through that grew a ton of awareness about the Pink Boot Society, which now it has five chapters instead of just one in North Carolina um, in, a, in two years. And so um, it's a short history, I think similar um, to the beer industry history in this day. And actually Beer FM was the first like all women's beer festival in the country, which was really cool. And so now uh, Pink Boots nationally is meeting with the Beer FM girls to like try to make that, to see how they did the layout and everything and try to make, have that replicated in other areas, which is freaking awesome. Um, it's, yeah, every meeting for the Pink Boots that I have been to, whether it be Raleigh chapter or now Greensboro and, and Winston-Salem um, has been super edifying and just really encouraging, really a, a lot of fun to be honest. You just you get to go and you get to exchange ideas and, and problem solve a little bit. Yeah. So it's, it's very cool to meet other people, other women in the industry. Uh, we did a, a beer release with Pink Boots and it was called Pinkies Up, so I, I had my hair dyed pink to, to, oh, that's to cool. go with the opening for that beer. Right. It, it was a lot of fun. We had a, that was a Pink Boots uh, collaboration with Highlands. And it was a, it was so much fun. That's where I, I met Katie for the first time, and mm -hmm. she's she's been awesome. The other interesting thing about Pink Boots that a lot of women didn't even know is that it, you don't have to be a brewer to join. Um, you know, if you work for Caffey, if you're doing beer sales, you're in. Twenty five percent of your income um, has to come from beer. It doesn't even have to be craft beer. If you work for Miller's or Coors or whatever, come on in. You know, we don't judge like that. Uh, we will try to switch you, but anyway, <laughs> you know, we don't judge. Most places now do have at least one woman in production. I, I, I was even shocked when I went to Beard FM. Um, that was the other reason I always kind of always felt a little weird about even doing interviews and stuff like this because I'm like, well, I'm not the only girl that's fucking doing this. Uh, it's really nice that like now we're as a group, we're all kind of getting a voice and getting these places to showcase that we exist and that we're kicking ass doing it. It's so unbelievably um, supportive within the kind of women in the industry and what struggles they might be dealing with. But I feel like it's not even so much based on struggles. It's like um, the things that we're most proud of, our accomplishments and collaborating, working together on whatever it might be. So be that educational incentives or beer incentives via collaborations or the Beer to Femme, which is an all female um, driven beer festival that moves around every year that we've participated in for the last two years. So yeah, they. They're doing awesome things. They're making my life a whole lot easier <laughs> by being great and really like creating a network of women in this industry. There are way more women in this industry than I ever imagined. Um, it's just that they're behind the scenes often and you don't see them. And so I think that a large part about Pink Boots is just communicating that women are here, women are doing great things, women are standing out and rocking their careers, and there is an open invitation for women to join the ranks.